So I'm just going to take you through the self pen test part of the application. So if you click on self pen test and then click start, it prompts you to connect to the Wi-Fi, but if you're already connected to the Wi-Fi that you want to scan from effectively, uh, then no worries, you just select next. So it's going to detect your external IP address. So this is the IP address that hackers will scan externally. This will face the raw internet to everyone in the world to see. I'm going to quickly pause and change the IP address. Obviously, you can't see mine here, but just I'm going to change the IP address so we change the results. So I'll go ahead and click next. And then it asks me to disable my Wi-Fi. And the reason that it does that is that for us to... Um, simulate an external scan, we're now going to be using your mobile phone carrier's external IP address, which is effectively the same as you scanning from external outside of your network and scanning in effectively. So we've done that, click next, and then you choose quick or full. So um, do a quick scan because that is the top 1,000 uh, common ports which are used. Uh, there are actually 65,000 of them which the full scan will do, but that's something that you can leave overnight. Um, the quick one is fairly quick uh, as it suggests, um, but just why don't you go ahead and try that one first. And I'll just pause while that goes through. So now you can see that it's finished and these um, behind this particular IP address, these are all of the ports that are open. And as you can see, this kind of squiggly looking data of the banners, that's kind of what hackers will see to identify what's running behind your network. And that's what they will use. And they're just gonna glorify Google that into the um, uh, global dark webs effectively, or uh, the Google equivalent of, uh, and they're gonna find the best way to hack these applications or services or hardware, uh, and that's effectively how they get you from externally. So at the end of the application, uh, usually in the production app, there'll be a video here explaining more what this actually means.